All right, guys, what's going on? Needs more drums back in our city of Hawthorne for uh, another, you know, different episode today. I haven't actually tried. I just downloaded the uh, Financial Districts DLC. It's only eight bucks, so I figured, you know, why not? And actually, the reviews for it have been pretty good. So I figured I'd uh, download it and, you know, give it a try today and see kind of what is included. I'll admit I have not done like any other than what's on the store page for the DLC, like the, the description and everything, I have not done any other like outside research. So I haven't watched, you know, any other YouTube videos or anything about it. So I really don't know what's in it besides kind of what they tell you, which is uh, a new office specialization, um, new bank buildings, a new stock exchange. And that's pretty much it as far as I know. So let's see just kind of how everything looks. And, uh, you know, we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot here to kind of improve the downtown. So yeah, this episode today, I wanted to focus on the downtown. Uh, I haven't actually even tried to open the save game for um, uh, the Los Patrias region, region and Percussion yet. So I don't know if the new DLC broke any of the mods that are needed, because that save game needs a lot more mods than uh, than this one does. So I'm not sure if the new DLC kind of broke any of those yet. I, I've actually kind of been reading like on you know some of the scene reviews and that this one actually didn't break a lot of mods because it was sort of more of a mini expansion rather than like a full-blown dlc so hopefully uh that that game is still functioning uh you know pretty well but i'll try to open that up you know later this week but i thought it you know i've been having fun in uh in the city of hawthorne instead of uh, always just you know playing in the same city so yeah, so let's do a couple things to kind of improve the downtown today. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually with the financial DLC is a uh, change your little guy up here. And <laughs> they got this got this cool new one. Look at it. He looks so looks so proper and intelligent. So yeah, we're going to we're going to use that one for now. Um like a trusty trusty advisor. So yeah, or maybe he's stealing all of our money, but either way, we'll find out. Uh Yeah, so we got that done. Um and now I want to Look at the skyline a little bit before we actually jump into the financial DLC because overall I'm happy with it except this building right here I put this one down and what a little bit it's a little bit too big I think kind of for what what we're going for in this city and even the, even this one is part of the Korean uh, content creator pack which is why I, I decided to put it in the city because I have some of the Korean buildings and I have this neighborhood over here this is a cool building from the creator pack another couple like this one and i think there's like a venue that i put down somewhere over here that's also a pretty pretty cool looking so yeah i'm, I'm deciding to you know keep those but this one is just i don't know this one's it's a little bright maybe i can i, I kind of like it though it's something different i know i can probably change the color like if i use you know this this painter and i can kind of change the color of it but like that looks too kind of that just looks dirty and then i don't want it to be like black so yeah i think i'm actually just going to keep it it's kind of a nice unique building and it's and it's not it's not like overly tall either so it kind of fits in nicely but yeah so let, let's change up uh let's give it let's get rid of this one here and i'm actually going to put the game on pause for now uh, but let's take a look at the i think it's in the unique buildings yeah uh yeah okay cool so yeah, in the unique buildings, I, I kind of wish I, I should get that mod that removed this this white overlay when you're doing this because it's kind of hard to see like how the buildings actually look when when this is on. But yeah, like there's, you know, something like this might be a lot better or something. And what's nice though is that I already know which ones I have down because you can only place them once. So let's go ahead and demolish that for now. Sorry, but we want something a little bit uh a little bit smaller, I think. I like, I like that tall one there because that's kind of, you know, right in the downtown. So we're going to keep that. But I think for this, yeah, maybe something more along the lines of it. It seems like each each building has a, a larger and smaller counterpart. So like, actually, this building looks quite nice. I really I really like that. That's cool. Let's see, let's see how that one looks. And what I do like to do sometimes, too, is I'll either make this like a little plaza or I will... Uh, Maybe I can put a couple down here, actually. So let's put this one down there. And then let's put, I could probably put down, if I could find a small one that would fit right in this corner. So not that one, maybe something like this. That might be nice. 
Yeah, we already have that. What about this one? No, it's another. It's a little bit too big. And that's kind of encroaching on the on the property of that one. I don't think that would be that close. Yeah, I think this one is probably the uh, the best. Oh, that, that one. That one looks good. That's nice and small. Let's do that one. Yeah, that looks much better than having that huge. I kind of like, you know, that it's a little bit more of a gradual progression in the height. So we have like our medium height buildings and then we have some of our taller ones. And then our tallest one is kind of right up here against this park. And it doesn't look super out of place. Um, some of these do. So I might actually rebuild kind of this this little area right here. And, you know, I do have some mods on. So I think it might be time to use some of the... Uh, plot the growables or something and actually kind of manually go in and change up some of these buildings just to make them look a little bit better. So we might do that after the uh, financial, we upgrade our financial offices and stuff using the new DLC. Yeah, for now, let me just uh, kind of re repaint this, this area, make it a little bit of a nicer type of plaza. And actually, let me see if I can even use one of the plazas here, which I think we can, that one kind of fits. And then we can even move this like a little bit closer to uh, to the road. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. And that is that. So that's done. Glad we uh, made a little bit of an improvement there. Um, and then I kind of actually want to work with with these as well. I like these buildings but they just like city skylines doesn't know corners very well so it's always kind of a struggle to make something like a city block like this so i'm actually going to go ahead and delete a couple of these and we're going to rebuild like around this corner here so let me go i can look at the another in here somewhere what is it high density commercial here we go all of these okay so i want some some corner ones yeah like this one's a corner one so that one would be nice but then i kind of need another one to fit like in there that, that's what's weird is that this is like a like a odd space so i'll see if i can't find one that fits drag these kind of right up against the other ones that leaves a bit of a gap that is fine yeah it's kind of nice too to have the sidewalks you know a little bit bigger there as well so cool that block is kind of i think that looks better like that and then for this block we could have another um, couple of corner buildings yeah like i really like that one that one looks nice nice little hotel I guess cool and we can do one more and actually we could use a corner building like this here let me see if, if one of these would fit yeah like that that way we have the station here and people can actually you know walk right up in that one and then just something that I like to do sometimes you know making a little bit of a of a nice uh, type of plaza a little park not so they're parked, but yeah, so that gives a nice little, you know, spot for people to sit right outside this building here. And then this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use Surface Painter to make that some concrete. So that looks a little bit better. Some of that weird gap, and same thing actually with right here. I know nobody's gonna notice this. Well, I'll be the one that notice it because I'll be the only one in this save game, but <laughs> still exactly the way I wanna fix it. So yeah, that looks, that looks better. So, so those two blocks are looking pretty good, I would say. And now I think I want the, um, the, I gotta find where I have my office specialization at because this is already the IT specialization and I like it because it has the, some of the taller buildings. Like these are actually in the vanilla game, like, you know, this one and you know, this one, it has some taller uh, office buildings. 
but I think in this area, I might make this like a financial area. And I know we're starting to encroach on a little bit of residential zone, but I think like, or maybe, hmm, I'm trying to think of where I want to put this. Or maybe I bump these people out here and make this like the financial district because we can we can find some more spots for residential. This is kind of very much in the heart and city of the downtown or heart and center of the downtown anyway, which is kind of where I would expect some offices to be rather than residential. So yeah, let's actually go ahead and we're gonna displace some of these residents. And I'm sure they're, they can find other places to live around here. And if not, then we're gonna make some new suburbs anyway in like a later episode. So no big deal. Yes, yeah, so let's just go ahead and rezone this. And then I want to, okay, cool. This is already its own, its own district. So I can just set this as the financial district specialization, which is just down here. Like all of our specializations is office specialization and then it can have financial office specialization. Cool. So I got those. And then I think what I need to do is place down the, uh, the stock exchange. And actually, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and just delete these because I know since I use plot the growables, I think uh, that's the mod that makes it to where the zones actually don't change by themselves. You have to go in and, you know, delete the old ones for them to change. But that's fine. So yeah, so we're going to try give this a shot, see how it looks. And I want to put down the uh, put down the stock exchange as well. So I want to see where it's, it's over here in the this small bank, large bank, and the skyscraper bank. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think we need that. <laughs> we definitely need that somewhere over here. And I don't think it has to be. Does it have to be in this? Thing? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So I think it just has to be in the. Oh, this is very. Yeah, okay. This is going to cover like literally our whole city. Sweet. Sign me up for this. I think I might put the bank here and then the stock exchange like right here. So I might get rid of these residential zones as well. Or I could put them, I could put it over here by some of these IT buildings because I have a lot of these IT buildings. They all kind of look the same. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna put it like right here. And I'll make, I might actually make this like a whole little financial zone. The one thing that I don't like about vanilla zoning is that it makes some of the, I do like this. Oh, that's a, Okay, never mind. I thought that was an office building, but it's not. Um, I do like the, uh, what do you call it? I don't like how it's a little bit too dense sometimes with the vanilla zoning. You, know, like you look at some of these and it's just like every single space has a building. Whereas in like real life, some of these taller buildings would have a little bit of a, of a plaza around them. And so that's why I kind of like to go in and you know do a little bit more detail work around some of these. But yeah, that, actually these, these buildings look quite nice just these level one buildings kind of have an old older classic style of architecture i really like those those would look good you know just like as a even in a small downtown you know type of setting and i did i did see though that the buildings that when they upgrade they upgrade to the already existing architecture so like you know you can see how this one here there's just a modern addition to the classic architecture which I think is actually kind of cool. You know, that's kind of how a lot of buildings are. I know when I was in, uh, I visited Edinburgh, Scotland, and they, the buildings looked a lot like that, how they would have like the old building on the bottom. And then you could, it was very clear that they made an addition to it by just adding to the top. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's something that I've seen before. And, and I, I like that a lot. So anyway, back to what I was going to do. Let me get rid of these here. Sorry guys, and I'm gonna make this where I'm gonna put the the bank, and then where's the stock exchange? Okay, so here it is. So it's in the uh, it's in the unique buildings tab, and here we have the stock exchange. Financial hub. It allows us to make investments, and office buildings pay 
higher taxes one position close to the stock exchange. Oh, that's actually a pretty big, that's a pretty big building. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Hmm. All right, well, let's see about that. And then here's, oh, a bronze panda, a bronze cow and a bronze panda. <laughs> that's interesting. Nice little, little plaza to put down somewhere. All right, I'll find a, I'll find a place for that. This is nice. Little elevated plaza. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to put that somewhere as well. And what's, what do we got? Underground garden. Ooh, that's going to be cool too, but I still, man, there's, the city's not very big, so it's kind of hard to find spots to put some of this. And then this international trade building actually looks, looks really nice too. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a beautiful building. I might put that again, you know, it's one of like the skyscrapers kind of over here somewhere. So yeah, so let's see, let's go. First of all, I want to put down the bank because that actually looks really nice. So I'm probably gonna put that down here since it'll cover basically the entire city. Let's see how that looks. That's a pretty nice looking building. Fits in well with the skyline. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll keep that. And then I want to put down that international trade building. Maybe over here somewhere. Fits in as like a good, good skyscraper. Yeah, I'm thinking like right here. Oh, that looks fantastic. Very nice. Awesome. And actually, I'm going to dezone these as well. I don't need. I don't need any more offices there. <laughs> I think that's good enough. And you know what? I might actually use. So in the um, the pedestrian DLC, there's some really really cool uh, like tiles. So I might actually grab one of these and make sort of like a cool cool walkway through here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Let's do that real quick. Very stylish. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All right, cool. Uh, so I'd like to try to find a place because I think the uh, the stock exchange actually unlocks like the functionality for the financial district buildings. So I would like to put that down somewhere in the city. And I'm thinking, uh, I like that plaza though. That's, that's the thing. I don't know where else to put that. Okay, another year of our academics has been completed, good. Um, let's see. I know I'm getting rid of like all of my IT specialization, but you know what? It's fine. I don't really want to put it over here because there's a lot of residential buildings. Yeah, like these are all residential buildings. I don't know, maybe I can put it like across from the university here or something. Hmm, let me think a little bit here. I'm gonna try out try out a few spots. Yeah, I think I decided I'm gonna put it right here because there's nothing but just a lot of a uh, a lot of commercial buildings. So that seems like a pretty, pretty nice spot. Actually, I'm gonna bring it over one for 12 grand. Oh my gosh! Good thing we have a lot of money. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have cost us a fortune just to relocate it. Okay, we'll go ahead and make that office there. So yes, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. We have the stock exchange there, and then we have the financial district here. So this whole area is kind of a nice financial area, and then some people that live by the stock exchange, unfortunately, but that's okay. And so let's see what we could do for our investments. Ah, interesting. So this is actually where I can use my, uh, some, some practical experience here, it looks like. <laughs> so yeah, I did, uh, fun fact, I did graduate with a, my degree is in finance for undergrad. So, uh, but I, I'm, I'm not actually too familiar in the services of investing just because uh, I didn't want to be you know, like you can be like investment bankers and stuff. And I just didn't really want to pursue that path. I went to go, I chose the uh, more of the financial consulting route 
and specifically in disputes consulting. I'm sure if you watch, you know, one of my other videos, I explain kind of what I do, but nonetheless, I have a degree in finance. So this is kind of, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> let's see what we, what we have here. So it looks like it's of oil. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. That's a big area. This I, this is something we need to do is build an airport forestry trooper cargo. That's actually a very stable, seems to be a very stable investment. Healthcare, same thing. Cru uh, we can do cruises, logistics, uh, logistics is kind of shaky, but still the best thing about investing is just sit over time and just kind of watch it, you know, uh, watch it grow. Gen generic industry is very stable. Let's see. So what do we got here? Residential high density. Oh, this is like we could see like our budgets and all of our tax income. Ah, interesting. Campus ain't doing too well. I had a feeling, I know we built a lot of buildings there and we're just like not quite at capacity yet. Yeah, some of these things are just gonna take a loss on. Like it's hard to make, I think it's hard to make a profit off of just public transport because I don't wanna, I want people to use it. So I don't wanna raise the price too much. Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of our income is going to come from our zones, especially. Yeah, surprisingly, our office, our residential zones seem to be carrying a brunt of the taxes. See, so yeah, I guess we can we can make an investment in one of these healthcare services. Looking good. Let's buy one of those so that okay, this price. Oh, I could buy like a lot of things. Interesting. Good thing I have a lot of money. <laughs> It's about like 400, I guess. Since it seems to be going up. Hopefully we can get in while it's a little bit lower before it, before it grows. So how do I know? Okay, so I have this investment. I invested the current value. Oh, so I actually have to like monitor this. That's interesting. The very legit company seems also to be good. And, and logistics. Hmm. Maybe this ha maybe this will increase as traffic gets better and I am looking on improving traffic. So, you know, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy one of these as well. I'm just really curious to like how this actually works. So I wonder if I buy this and then I increase the traffic flow, if the value of this is going to go up because I kind of feel like these things are directly correlated with how your city is going. So like, for example, you know, if we have a lot of tourism from cruises, yeah, see, kept flip by tourism. So I bet if you, if you increase your tourists and the visitors to your city, this will go up. If you increase your or industry output, this will go up. This probably will go up if your health in the city is generally good. So just keeping some hospitals and stuff, will bring that up. And uh, yeah, same with like all of these, this one, I'm not sure. Let me see. Hmm. I wonder what's, what's that one? Maybe the amount of cars in your city. Yeah. Same thing. It looks like, it looks like any industry that you invest in, will result in gains or losses in your funds. So yeah, like I said, the next episode, I think I really want to focus on some of the traffic so we can, uh, you know, hopefully improve our investments in the, the value of our traffic stocks. So yeah, check it out. Those are, those are pretty nice. I gotta say, I like, I like some of these buildings. I think they look pretty good. They're a lot taller than some of the vanilla skyscrapers. And again, just a nice transition here from some of these lower density buildings. So that's, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that, Ooh, you know what I want to put here first? Yep. You probably guessed it. The bronze Panda. I would love to put that down right there. <laughs> nice little, little, uh, financial, you know, thing going on, but cool. We'll fix up this area a little bit too. Maybe add some uh, some different kinds of buildings right here, but we'll come back to that at a later time. So I get that's kind of a, just a little bit of what you can get in the financial districts DLC. Uh, is it worth eight bucks? I mean, yeah, I think so. Adding another specialization with it said, and I quote, hundreds of oh, like almost a hundred new assets. So yeah, the the new buildings are always nice. Uh, the new functionality is is pretty cool. Just kind of gives you another way to make money in your city, I guess. Uh, and as we can see, we have a little bit of, we got quite a bit of loss in the healthcare fund right now, but, um, 
in the traffic fund we're doing pretty well but yeah so we'll just hold on to these for a little bit and see if we can get a nice some nice gains over the next couple of years but yeah it's pretty cool um I'd, I'd recommend it it looks good some of these custom buildings are nice too like this trade building and this bank those are some of the some pretty good vanilla looking assets in the game i gotta say so uh yeah if you're you know on the fence about this dlc it's only eight bucks might as well just go ahead and grab it if you want to you know kind of mess around with some money um we really don't need to at the moment but i think uh there, there would have been some times where it would have been nice to to have this especially earlier on when our city was still kind of you know not quite this size but yeah go ahead and grab that dlc uh have a great rest of your week and you know what i will catch you guys in the next video which might be another episode in hawthorne because i am enjoying this a lot and you know there's still plenty to do to make this city a little bit better and we can jump into some of the managing aspects of this like i said like traffic and everything so yeah take care and i'll see you guys in the next video peace